Hey, boy. How you doing? So, this is another one that I uh, pulled off a of shutter, so I don't have a DVD case to be brandishing at you guys, but this is a movie that had been I'd been aware of for some time, but I hadn't really made any motions to getting around to. So, essentially, I was just doing my trek through shutter of just watching whatever was in order on there. And so I popped up with this one, One Cut of the Dead. And, well, I didn't know anything about the premise, but I had heard a few reviewers talking about this one before, and they weren't a fan. I guess that it just didn't land for them just because of how, like, slow-moving it, they would say it was, and it just, it didn't, they were saying a lot didn't work, and so I really wasn't, I was kind of concerned going in and it's a zombie flick so they've been done to death haha ha. <clears throat> but well it was the next one on there so i decided okay fine let's watch it first thing i know that oh okay it's a japanese movie i didn't even know that going in it uh, was circa 2017 one cut of the dead or camera o tomare na. So. And it pretty much starts out as a pretty standard uh, zombie film. It seems to be about... Uh, it is doing like a one cut thing where it's this weird thing about... Uh, this weird... Uh, there's like... How to describe this? So... It seems like the main characters are making a movie, and then suddenly a zombie outbreak happens. And so, like, the director is, like, utterly insane trying to drive them to do this. He keeps jumping out with them to film even with the zombie outbreak going on. And essentially, it's a bunch of chaos. But then, about 20, 30 minutes in, the end credits start rolling. I was kind of confused. And then... It goes to, like, some people having just watched what I just watched. And then it goes into flashes back and how, essentially, they were making a one-cut a, a one cut zombie movie. And so this movie is actually about making a one-cut zombie movie. So, essentially, it's like the director is given this task. He's like, you can't make a one-cut zombie movie. That's impossible. And the studios are very much like, we're doing this one-cut TV channel. Make it. So he's trying to find all those ways of can, bringing a, a really zany cast and trying to get them in line from the actor who's clearly too good for it, from the washed up guy who's drunk, one guy who has this bad allergic reaction, he needs to run to the bathroom if he has the wrong thing. And he's trying to corral these people into making the zombie movie in one cut. So it's like how you can quickly have people do zombie things off camera or... It pretty much goes into how them try to figure out how to do this, and the cast is not getting along, and finally having to pull in his, I think it was his wife, who, like, his daughter's into trying to help direct, so when he has to suddenly quickly run out and uh, try to get involved in the thing, she has to take over actual direction. His wife is, was an actor, but she gets too into the role, so when she has to call in too, but she's going way over the top and actually almost trying to kill people, the movie gets insane. And I tell you, I was here for it. I was actually really enjoying this one. It was weird, but in an enjoyable way, because I'm into, I like, behind-the-scenes things, so it was this weird, like, mockumentary about making this thing, and then they actually re-go through the whole movie as you, they're showing how they did the earlier thing, but it's a comedy of errors, them quickly trying to, like, okay, one of the zombies who's going, uh, at the camera, he was actually just so drunk he couldn't stand it was just it's like pushed into which is how he managed to go through it all they they it's actually very entertaining to watch how all these things that you saw earlier kind of just sync together so i was actually here for this one so you have to be definitely the right mood set for an offbeat slow burn comedy they play it with a very straight face it's the humor is very japanese so if you're prepared for that it works very well I went in with low expectations and was pleasantly surprised. So, I do give high marks to One Cut of the Dead. I, it ended up being one of the favorite ones I'd seen on Shutter in a while. So, yeah. I do highly recommend checking it out.
Uh, give this one... Go ahead and eat MacGuffins. I'll give it a full 8. I, I did like it. 8 out of 10? I mean, yeah, it's not one I'm going to watch repeatedly, but I would like to own a physical copy at some point. Alright. I think that's all I got on this one, so catch you later, Void.